back there. So everything is here. So yeah. this is made this is made here. Made in Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, made in Kenya. Kenya. <laughs> and whoa, whoa, they're so beautiful. So you, dessert, you can buy them here. Yeah, you can buy them. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you can buy them here. You can yeah. buy them here. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yeah. When you are here, like look rosy over there. But it takes ages and ages For to even to... have a footing and settle. Mm. So at that time you neglect home mm -hmm. to the point where it's difficult to come back. You don't know anybody, you have no connections, you have and if you are lucky, you don't even have the funds to come back. You see? But this is the situation that they tell us that when you go there, yes, you, you become rich. It's not true. It's not Mo most yeah, of you see, so mm -hmm. let me let me say this before you continue. Yes. You see, you people that went yes. and now return, yeah. it's your responsibility mm -hmm. to what educate. Yes. some of us yes. yeah. because listen I, I get insulted I, i'm telling you like mm. when i did videos about Af uh, Ghanaians who went abroad mm -hmm. and then decided to move permanently like I'm, in the comments because some of the ghana websites mm -hmm. they take the video and share them mm -hmm. if i read a comment mm -hmm. it's just an insult yes are you stupid how can you go to america and he said they're your... coming back give me your passport <laughs> let me go yeah. like yeah. so many of those comments i'm like wow yeah. yeah people don't but, really understand yeah but be because that you see what also happens is this right and i this is just my own experience mm. okay i started coming back to africa 1998 as a matter of fact i came here first and it was my wife who convinced me to go to Ghana. <laughs> so when I went to Ghana... Convinced you to go to Ghana? Yes. I was like, how can you come all this way and not go to Ghana? You, you, have to come. you have said that in my video. Yeah. So yeah, okay. so, so I got up and... What you? you see how you dress? Mm. This is how I dress. All the time. Even in America, this is how I dress. Shorts, t-shirts. Finally. That's it. I, I've met someone right that and, like and and weird <laughs> things like weird shoes and things like that. So when I went to Ghana, from here, I have shorts and I have a t-shirt. And there were many people at the airport to meet me, and they saw me, and they were shocked. Right? That thought, oh my God, what happened? And, there was, and before then, they knew they knew that I have a dread. So I used to have a dread in the states. And the, 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 the thing was, that guy went crazy. You see? So when he saw me, he confirmed that the crazy guy has come back home and I have nothing. Right? And unfortunately, too, for me, I forgot my luggage in a taxi at the airport here. So I went with just one clothes. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, so one bag for gifts, yeah. one bag with his own stuff. And he so went with the I went with the gift, gift <laughs> right? But and I forgot no my bag and no clothes, nothing. So I have to go shop in wow. Makola and shorts and a few things. So throughout that whole thing, people don't really want to get closer. They don't, you know, they people like... They didn't bring anything. Yeah, they thought this guy... <laughs> some even probably thought I was deported. You know, and, and that sort of a thing, you see? He just said... <laughs> Yeah. yeah yeah so so uh and then subsequently every time i go i go like this right i don't show off i don't i just go do my own thing as a matter of fact when you met me i just came from home to, to do the COVID uh, test. yeah to do the COVID test mm. and i was camping in Ho. Ho. i camp you know so i boil water and i shower and I cook in a and I have a tent. You see, I don't stay in hotel. So when I'm telling people that this is how travel is and everywhere else is, they don't believe it because wow. they believe the guys who come with the big cars, the big shoes, you know, who are staying for two weeks and blew their money and, go back. and they run out and they go back, they start again. They yeah. believe those people. So a lot of the young people wanted to be like that. And if you remember in the old days, they used to call them boga, boga, boga. Boga, boga, yeah. Right? People like that because... So these guys dress up from the States, some are even in suits and, you know, all the shoes. They have iPhone, they have all these other things. And then a bag. 
and they go there and, and these young people want to be with them and and hold their bags and things like that yeah. right and so that's what they see and and what also happens is that there are people who are over there trying to save a little bit of money and build a home right so you can see that the people who are building houses it takes a very long time for them some don't even come back to live in it you see they die there you see but nobody these young kids don't see they just see a building and they're like oh he goes abroad and then he builds this they don't say how long does it take this guy to build and how is this person going to be able to come back and live in that house does he have earnings does he have income to be able to stay in ghana they don't see it you know so to educate them becomes extremely difficult it becomes they will not believe you what you are telling the truth you tell but you are telling them the truth you know but they don't believe you, you there's so many people yeah there's so many like even my classmates were like oh you have to go back to china what are you coming to do here we want to live you live in china you said you are coming back yeah I like so many things yeah but what i came here i realized that all the opportunities are here because ah. when when i was here yeah you i was also it. saying that hey I need to leave. Yeah. I even had a university here. I'm like, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, why should I study in Ghana? Yeah. I want to leave. Yeah. I got a university in the UK. Yes. They refused me the visa. Yes. My dad was like, if you don't go to the school in Ghana, yes. I have nothing to do with you. Yes. I'm like, I've told all my friends I'm going to the UK. Yeah. Hell oh, no. I need you, to. You I need stop. to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I go somewhere. Yeah, I, need get, I need to get out of here, and that's when I ended up in China. Yeah. It was just a two weeks thing. Apply to school, get a visa within two weeks, and get out of the country. Yeah. You know, but I went to China. I thought life was good. Yeah. And I mean, the way we live in China, you know, you get the money. The money and that the money goes off. Yes. Again, like you spend it's like mm. you don't have any it's savings. Like you are on a yeah. Wow. That artist is she's actually a silversmith as well. She paints and she also does silver work. Damn. So she incorporates her silver so training into her painting. Wow. Well, Maya, we even have a, a private room up there. Like uh we for dining. Dining? Yeah, upstairs. Yeah. Picking it up. And I Lick. just took it outside. And I just go and tell the guy that, uh, Hi. please, how are you? And the guy said, please, I'm fine. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> like I have to say, please, how are you? Please, I'm yeah. fine. Please, can you do this for, for me? me? You, you can't just say. So, like, if I'm older than you, you have to call me daddy. Daddy. He told me that. I'm like, yeah. yeah. And yeah. there's a woman that I call mm -hmm. mommy. Mm -hmm. And it's like, Treated nearly fought with me. She told like, why are you calling somebody that you don't know, mommy? I'm like, what? Mm. Where are you from? Mm -hmm. You can't even call, hey, no. If the person is older than you, if you don't know her anyway, auntie, mm -hmm. what are you doing? Uh, mommy, daddy. So if you watch my videos, you'll see me calling people, yeah, grandpa. My grandpa. People mm. are like, what? Who are these people? Yeah. I don't know them anywhere, but that respect that they that told us from the beginning. Those are the things that we were taught while young, but uh, it, it dies very fast in Kenya. Mm. It's, not, it's very... not something that. Um, mm. He also told me that on the streets in, in Accra, like when you meet someone, like, hi. Yeah. And I told oh, him, brother. Mm, like I told yeah. him in Kenya, you run. Like when yeah, when yeah, the street yeah. and someone says hi oh, to you. And the thing that surprised me, they had, I was in school junction. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just like, after living in Kenya for all this long, mm. this guy that put change on the table. The table is full of change. Mm -hmm. And he walked away. Oh, and so people come and put money for one city and then they, they just take, they, they just take oh, the coins. Wow, and I was there and I'm just like, what is happening? I'm like, and I feel like packing them into my pocket, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I said, this fool, you, you know? Yeah, you think Kenya nice now. Yeah. 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 You know, those are the things I always used to say to Harold that Ghana has such a nice society. Mm. People are so polite, refined. The you know the rough edges are just not there. Yeah. And and uh, of course, crime as well is not there. Yeah. It's getting better now. It's getting better. Yeah. Like right yeah. now. Yeah. In terms of like everyone trying to take advantage of, because more. 
foreigners are entering the country yeah. now. Yeah. And people think that that is the opportunity for them to make money. Oh, that's and that is something that if you don't take care right now, mm. you might mess up the country's it, image. Yeah, mm. you won't be able to. Because I've that seen nice image back. people who are talking about it now on yeah. YouTube. Yeah. Like, Americans that visit Ghana, mm -hmm. other people that visit Ghana, when they go back, they were like, I thought Ghanaians are nicest people. Why yeah. is everybody trying to scam me? Oh, yeah, yeah there, okay. there's so many much of those yeah. experiences on YouTube. It's just a matter of time. You, we, yeah, you have to in those days, we used to help people without even thinking of like, how much are you going to pay me? Yeah. Yeah, it was just, and like the first time I went to Ghana, we, we parked you, in you, you can't walk and pass an elderly person holding something and you won't take Hey, yes. hey that one, hey, yes. carry. That used to shock me. Mm. Somebody, you know, that's you, a you curse. Yes. If somebody takes your bag, you start to worry. Mm. In Ghana, they yeah. have to help you. In Kenya, I yeah. think, I think, you know where you guys are getting right now when you're saying that is, I think, is what Kenya got years back. Long time ago. So yeah. I think guys got scared, mm. like. When someone tries to be nice to you on the street, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. like, you're a scam. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. You're a scam. In, in Ghana, mm -hmm. when you pass by an old woman, someone who is older than you, and you, you're going to the same direction, you have to help her. Even if you are not, you still mm -hmm. have to help her come to. back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and come back. Like you have you, to you like give a direction, put mm -hmm. it this way, you give a direction to a policeman, the policeman jump in the car, take you to where it is, and then catch another ride back. <laughs> oh, my oh my god like in kenya i think uh, i don't know what happened yeah we lost that along the way we lost yeah. that we used to, we used to be taught in school yeah. Yeah. but it's low like right now yeah. even in we were even told it was even in the books like when you go to a matatu and you find an older person standing yeah. mm -hmm. and you're sitting you're supposed to wake up and let mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then the, there were laws which were passed later on yeah. this you should no one should stand on the matatu mm. like no one should stand okay. if you're caught you're either a baby or a mother you're arrested so if you're seated in a matatu and an older person comes in and it's full yeah. you're supposed to leave so I think there's so many things like that and guys getting caught in Nairobi. Yeah. You know, Nairobi used to be called Nairobi. Yeah, in the, in the 2000s, in the 90s. It was so bad. It was, it was bad. Yeah. You couldn't even hold a phone, you couldn't do anything. Yeah. Yeah, I think we met, we went for an interview mm -hmm. in one Ghana TV station with Trudy. Yeah. Maybe we got out the man, so we said, is that what I'm I said, what am I? And said, where is Trudy from? I said, um, Kenya. And he said, oh. Nairobi. Oh, I was oh, there really? 19 something something. Yes. And they robbed me. Yes. Like, it oh, was bad. Wow. It was like man eat man society. Yeah, really we used to have one time. Yeah. yeah. And we used to have parking boys like um, we call them chokoras in the streets, like the parking boys. What do you call them in mm. Ghana? Do you think the, the, okay. the street yeah. kids. Mm. They used to be rough. Like the streets were rough back then. Yeah. But things have changed. Yeah. Things have really changed. But mm -hmm. the mentality in people's minds is still the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like yeah. people have never gotten gotten back to normal and I don't think it will ever And you know the people who came of age at that time, let's yeah. say you finished high school, you finished college in the early nineties. Yeah. A lot of the, that generation are the ones that left mm. Kenya. Yes, and you actually to convince them to come, to come back. back. Because in their mind, that's the Kenya. Yeah, and it's impossible. But, and that's the thing that we are going to change. Exactly. That's and and that's a real hurdle. And mm -hmm. people like my brother, he was in his twenties at that time, went to California. You can never convince him to come back. He actually wants to go to Ghana. He, uh, yeah, he loves I Ghana. I told him to Ghana. He loves Ghana. <laughs> yeah. Actually, in my in my, I do a lot of street travels and yeah. showing around Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And my biggest crowd is also African Americans, the Kenyans who went. Mm -hmm. Yes. And they're telling me every time, like, I don't believe this is the Nairobi left. Mm -hmm. The left big, behind. big number yeah. of them are the Kenyans who left in the 90s and yes. the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They don't believe, like, yeah. this yeah. is the same Nairobi they left. Yeah. yeah. And like, I, if I come back to Nairobi, I'll get lost. This is not what I left. Right. I need, yeah. To, yeah. I need to learn more about that so that I'll be able to mm -hmm. yeah. uh, put. Because I'm from Ghana, I know more about these things. Yeah. yeah. But when it comes to Nairobi, I'm kind of like. Yeah.